Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the coding and in Revit. So I will show you the some simplest way how you can use for example the GPT chat. This is kind of the GPT chat. It's using the main engine from the GPT chat in your daily work. Let's say you have your Revit project. You created I don't know the wall. Let's do, I will create the wall here and you have the some parameters in wall. Let's say inside and comments you have like one, two, I don't know, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's say. So you have the number, but you want to reverse it. Um, we, of course, you can do it manually or you can go to the Dynama and create your own script. Let's do this. This here is my Dynama. Let's I will uh, create a new script. And first of all, of course, we need the select object, select model element. So let's first we will select our model element. It's here, as you can see here. And what we need, we need our parameter, which is comment, right? Like uh, get parameter by name. And here I will write the name comment. Okay, here is our mm, the number as you can see. Uh, you can try to reverse by standard standard parameters from the Revit, but uh, you will find, for example, here only for the list. But it not will be work with the our mm, our idea. We need just uh, reverse uh, our internal the string. So if you will use the list, of course, it will try to reverse lists. But you have only the one list, so it not will do anything. Of course, if you will try to do with the components, it also cannot to do. What we can do we can use for example the python but you don't know the python let's say so it's easy the script but you don't know the python no worries so we no need to know the python to reverse our number okay here uh, our uh, code interpreter and what we need we need right here the code and now it's time to go uh, to the uh, our previous the service which is uh, working like a gpt chat and i will show you what you need once when you will open your uh, u.com, let me will do like this. Once you will open it, you will see the uh, same window. You can go straight away to the your code here. And what we need, we need oh, Python. Let's you can you can straight away write your what you want here. But we will go to the chat. We need the chat because you don't know exactly what you want. So for that thing, better uh, straight away go to the chat. And here, as you can see, your chat. Click here to talk with me. Okay, we're going inside to the chat, and uh, oh, he trying to explain you what is it Python. But we no need to explain. We just need get some code to the reverse our number. And let's say to the chat, write mm, code. I will explain you why later on. So you just uh, do like that and you will get the just simple code. Let me copy all of them. This is actually the function. Function not doing anything as you can see. Function just awaiting the data. Uh, let me go back and here is actually what we want. I will copy only this, these two arrows. Why? You will see later on. Uh, let me will place it here. Okay, so first of all, we no need internal data because our data will become here to the in in number zero index zero. So we will uh, replace this one to the in to the zero. Okay, that's it actually. Let's run it, and what you will see, you will see the zero. Why? Because if you will see here the output, we have only the zero, but we need output our final result. Here is our final result. How I understand it, uh, you can see it here the GPT printing reverse string. So this is will be our result. And here the same thing. We just need export our result reverse string run, and as you can see, we get our reversed string. Here is the our original one. Here is the our the other variant. So what we can do else? Let me write here. Uh, you remember I said we can uh, ex uh, ex how say it? export it like a list. Let me I will uh, copy all this uh, our question to the GPT and return as a list. Let's do it. Just wait a few seconds. And as you can see here now a bit different situation because even the output will be different. This is what I want. 
Uh, let me, I will copy it. I will copy here. Again, here is our function. Actually, this function, it's uh, the our core here going to our magic. And here, again, I will copy all of these things. Internal data we already have. So the same thing in, in zero. And uh, don't forget about the output because here is our output. Let's run it. So I will close it and here the result. You can see the difference. Here we get like a one, uh, like a one, the string result. It just returning our number. And here we get the list result. So this is actually uh, reversing by each this number, but it's the character. It's not number actually um, anymore. So we just spent like few seconds. Let me I will write more complicated script for the Dynamo. Uh, let's say uh, we want, for example, index from the two to the index number uh, six. We want to make it, uh, I don't know, the stars. Why not? Uh, so what we can do, uh, I will do the same thing, I mean, I will ask them create the same thing, but uh, write code with the Python which will be reverse the string, return the string, and let's ask. Again, few seconds. Of course, if you know how to programming, it's the simple questions uh, what I'm doing right now for those who know the, how to working with the Python. But if you don't know at all, it's really helpful. I don't know, it uh, will help you a lot. Uh, so here's our code actually. Let me, I will check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what I need. Again, here the main function. If you don't know Python, it's a really nice way to learn it because you asking them how is uh, what you want to do and he doing that and you can easily understand how it's working. So again, I will select all of them and again, I'm changing it to the zero. And again, don't forget the, our new string as the our answer will be here. But before I will start, I will show you here. As you can see, uh, the GPT chat uh, replaced all the numbers and he, he did mistake because he had the one also that is the star. We will start it right now and what we'll, we will see. Here working everything perfect as we want. So the one it's done touching and after six and more it's also done touching. But what if, again yes, what if you want to control from the start to the end where will be our stars? For, because right now it's inside here in code, as you can see, uh, less than one and more than six. But you want to control it, for example, with the sliders. How you can do that? Again, GPT chat. But now let's uh, create our um, idea. It's more complicated than we did. Let's write, uh, write, um, And here we are, actually, yeah, this is what I want. As you can see how it's working. It's taking the data, it's taking the start, and it's taking the end. Perfect. This is what we need. And as you can see here, the one, two, three, from the three, and replacing. Okay, so let's let's try it. Let's try it. Without the try, we don't know how it's working exactly. Let will connect to the, uh, to the in. And what we need? We now need this code, we actually this function, I will copy this function, double, and I will copy this future answer. Again, everything same, uh, the our answer will be here, uh, here will be our internal data, like in zero, and let's run it, uh, we will run now with the sum problem. Uh, let's see what's the problem. And what we see, uh, index out of the range 7. Of course it's out of the, out of, out of the range because we have the tilde 7. Let me I will change for example to the 6 here and let's run it. And as you can see it changed only the numbers from 3 to the 6. 3 it's not including, 6 it's including as you can see. But we can control these two numbers. How we can do that? First of all we need the sliders. 
let me I will use the integer sliders. I need the integer sliders. Let's change it to start. And we need the same slider to the end. To the end. Okay, we need um, two more internal data. As you can see, it's now number not zero. It's one and two. We're going inside of that and changing our in. Give, uh, let me I'll copy here to the first and to the second. Let's run it. Nothing changing, but if I will use the slider, <laughs> of course it's too much actually. <laughs> Let me write the more numbers because the problem now is the here the numbers. Uh, like ton 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 like this. Now it's much more, and as you can see, because we are using the uh, index, not the number, we can control it by index. Now as you can see, we can easily control where we wanna. Uh, put for example the our stars so guys as you can see even I'm not explaining the how the Python working I just explained uh, where the internal data where the external data and we spend like few seconds to get the functions like that uh, who know the Python it's really simple to do by yourself you know need to use the GPT chat but the most people uh, who working in Revit don't know it at all and they no need so, but sometimes you have the some uh, idea or you need to do the something really strange. And maybe GPT chat will help you a lot. So, uh, this is only the one idea which is uh, I trying to help you and share. If you want to more about how you can integrate, for example, the uh, AI in your daily work, let me know below the comments. I will show you the more ideas and the more practical things. Maybe I will do the some, I don't know, the some stream and we will do it uh, in live session. So guys, if you like it, don't forget about the like and share and comment. Thank you for watching and see you next time.